and we are underway here in Las Vegas. Ray Flores ringside here at T-Mobile Arena. Immediately starting strong with the jab is your Dennis Ugas, but coming in with the lefts, immediately moving forward is Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, so explosive, quick, has dynamite in both hands. Freddie Roach made him a two-handed fighter to make his right hand destructive like his left. Or Dennis Ugas, fundamentally sound, Cuban bronze medalist in 2008 for Cuba in Beijing. And he looks to be considerably the bigger man. We don't have an unofficial scale, but I would gather to say that Ugas probably looks like 160. Well, the Ugas camp did say that they want to focus in on attacking the body of Manny Pacquiao to try to take away some of his legs and his speed because Pacquiao, oh, there's a straight left, and Ugas got popped, but he wasn't in any danger. He was just off balance. A couple of straight lefts that crashed right into the face of Ugas. Manny Pacquiao obviously has the faster hands, and now he's unloading. Ugas, though, pushes him off. There's the size difference, and there's an overhand right that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas with the right hand that caught Pacquiao, but Pacquiao answers with the straight left right on the button. Ugas smiles at him. Just over the midway point of this, our first round. Already considerable action in the first several moments of this fight. There's a right to the body that backed up Pacquiao. Ugas is really focusing in on attacking the body of Pacquiao to try to take away some of the spring from the legs of Pacquiao. Pacquiao generates a lot of his power from his legs. You see those bulging calf muscles that have been so emblematic of him. Freddie Roach said that Manny Pacquiao in sparring looked tremendous. He knocked out two sparring partners over the past several weeks towards the end of training camp. We are under 40 seconds to go in the first round. There's a left to the body, and Pacquiao says, hey, come on, keep him up. What energy here at T-Mobile Arena for Pacquiao and Ugas. Stiff jab for Ugas. Ugas was successful against Abel Ramos by using a litany of jabs, and Ugas just pushes him down. And that ends the first round. Scheduled for Ugas with his jab. Everything with Ugas offensively starts off the jab. Pacquiao uses a variety of different angles and tries to connect upon you from areas that you wouldn't conceive of thinking about. Double jab right in the face of Manny Pacquiao. You know, there was a rumor that was floating around earlier today about there being a bicep injury to your Dennis Ugas. Well, I think that has been put to bed with what we've seen at least th through the first round. Plus, as we're now into the second, as Ugas looks terrific, he looks totally healthy, and he pops Manny Pacquiao with the jab. This is a high-level chess match between these two, as they both respect one another. The explosive dynamite in the hands of Manny Pacquiao. The steadfast, high-level boxing ability of your Dennis Ugas. There's a counter right hand for Ugas. Ugas does not seem to be... He's not overwhelmed by the moment. There's a right to the body backing back up Pacquiao. But back comes Manny. Ugas seems to be comfortable in there. And he is naturally the bigger man... And he's the younger man. 70 seconds left here in the second. Pacquiao looking for those openings, but Ugas' defense has been superb here in this second round. 
His forearms are so massive that when he covers up, it really does a good job of protecting the face and, for the most part, the first half of the upper body of your Dennis Ugas. So not much of a free target for Pacquiao to land upon because of how big your Dennis Ugas is. There's a right to the body, and that backed up Pacquiao. But back comes Manny. Ugas' is game plan, all right, that's backing up Pacquiao. Oh, boy. Ugas is backing up Pacquiao. And a right down the middle. Ugas looks fantastic here in the second. That body work is paying dividends. Ismael Salas, the Ugas camp, they said, well, Manny looks to be not as shredded as he's been in recent memory. We are going to test his conditioning and attack his body. That ends the second. Bit of, of a cut, but it's not bleeding. It's a bruising underneath his right eye. We'll see if Pacquiao total punches landed thrown through the second round. Ugas 29 of 74 for a 39% connect percentage. Pacquiao 20 of 116 for a 17% connect percentage. And you would attribute that to the high level defense and the ring IQ of your Dennis Ugas. Ugas has been awaiting a fight like this for his entire career, and now he has it. For Pacquiao, he's done this many times over again. Over 25 years as a professional prize fighter, but as you get up in age, you start to wonder, is that will father time ever catch up with Manny Pacquiao? There's a straight left for Pacquiao as a minute has elapsed here in the third. There's a right hand that caught the attention of Pacquiao. Ugas is showcasing and really sitting down in his punches, landing big shots. Even though they are knockout blows, and Ugas gets backed up momentarily by a quick combination from Pacquiao. Midway point of the third. Uga seems to be extremely comfortable in there, but he knows that he has to deal. And now the chance of Manny echoing here in Las Vegas. But if you notice, Ugas is doing little subtle things, moving his head, a good footwork. It's those little slight fates and he just gets popped with the straight left from Pacquiao. Under a minute to go here in the third. Now Pacquiao unloads, but a lot of them are partially blocked from Ugas. Ugas with a counter right hand, but back comes Pacquiao. He drives him to the ropes with a right hand, and now Pacquiao letting his hands go. A left followed by a right to the chest by Ugas to Pacquiao. Pacquiao took a big deep breath those body punches might be having an effect there's a right on the top of the head of Pacquiao might have affected his equilibrium for a brief second there's a couple of lefts and Pacquiao going to the body of Ugas back comes Pacquiao but Ugas counters with the right Pacquiao looking to swarm Ugas but Ugas plants his feet and delivers a counter right hand and we are three fourth round this one is scheduled for 12. power punches through three pacquiao 27 of 89 for a 30 percent connect percentage uga 17 of 27 for a 63 percent connect percentage uga's just landed a right to the body of pacquiao pacquiao looking to unload I want you to go to the body and then come up top. Throw to the body and then come up top. I want you to keep moving. You see some bruising outside of the left eye of Manny Pacquiao. Earlier in the fight, he had bruising underneath his right eye. On we go to the fifth round. This one's scheduled for 12. 
Manny Pacquiao has been away from the ring for 25 months. Pacquiao, the punch has landed. 53 of 248, a 21% connect percentage. Ugas, 54 of 131, with a 41% connect percentage. Pacquiao is throwing considerably more, which is no surprise, but Ugas has been the far more accurate of the two. Pacquiao doesn't seem to have the spring that he has had in the past, but he is still so dangerous. There's a straight left. But Pacquiao's work rate could be a significant uh, something to watch because if you're the judge, what do you favor? Do you favor the the volume of punching of Pacquiao, do you favor the clean, effective counter punching of Dennis Ugas, along with the fundamentals of him using his jab more than that of Pacquiao? And no doubt, Manny Pacquiao will let his hands go. But there's a right hand connecting for Ugas. Midway portion of the fifth. Tense moments here in Las Vegas. This crowd came out to their right hand for Ugas. A very one-sided crowd, all in favor of Manny Pacquiao for the most part. And flash of heads, potentially. Thankfully, no blood. They cut gloves under a minute to go here in the fifth. Double jab for Pacquiao, partially blocked by Ugas. At this pace, this favors your Dennis Ugas because it is calculated and methodical. This is not the kind of fight that Manny Pacquiao, who likes to engage in fire fights. This tempo and pace favors Ugas more than anything. Because it's very strategic and deliberate. There's a right-hand counter for Ugas. But Ugas being the naturally bigger man, there's Pacquiao bounds away on the right glove of Ugas. Pacquiao unloading. Uga smiles at him as, and he shook his head as to say, nope, nothing got through. There's a couple counter right hands by Ugas. Another counter right hand. Back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao. And that was towards the end of the round. And look at Ugas just stare down Manny Pacquiao. Both men locked in. The welterweight championship of the world on the line. Ray Forrest here in Las Vegas. Your Dennis Ugas, the champion, not elevated after the WBA strip Manny Pacquiao of his title. One that he captured by defeating Keith Thurman back in July 2019, the last time Pacquiao was in the ring 25 months ago. Jabs landed, Pacquiao 23 of 168 for a 14% connect percentage. Ugas 32 of 111 for a 29% connect percentage. Ugas has not been overwhelmed by the moment. He's settling nicely. He's and very tactical in his offensive approach by using his jab and then letting his counter right hand go and also attacking the body of Pacquiao. Pacquiao has been able to dart in and out and is the one throwing more punches than that of Ugas. But he, it, he hasn't landed anything significant to Ugas, which would make Ugas, or which would hurt Ugas or be detrimental to Ugas. Moving forward in the fight, I think Manny's looking for a big shot to try to affect your Dennis Ugas. Now Pacquiao has a tight guard. He's trying to invite Ugas to him. So I think Pacquiao, he's like, instead of me attacking this guy, let me invite this guy to me and see if I can counter. So the strategies change here in the fight as you're seeing Pacquiao, who's almost inviting Ugas to come forward. And now chance of let's go Manny here at T-Mobile Arena. High level excitement between two elite welterweights. There's a big right hand by Ugas and you heard that. Ugas got all of that, all a lot of leverage behind that shot. Under a minute to go here in the sixth. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas looks razor sharp tonight. Double jab for Ugas. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Ugas was a sizable underdog coming into this fight. Manny Pacquiao was over a three to one favorite. But Ugas didn't pay attention to the odds, said it doesn't matter. None of that affects me. I know what I'm capable of. Couple of lefts by Pacquiao. Final moments of the sixth. Ugas coming forward. He tags Pacquiao with the counter right hand. And Pacquiao trying to lunge in and get something. And that ends the sixth. We are halfway home. So this one is scheduled for 12. I think we have a close fight between Manny Pacquiao and Dennis Ugas. Total punches landed thrown through six. Identical when it comes to landed, but Pacquiao had thrown nearly 200 punches more than that of Ugas. Our punches thrown through the sixth round. Pacquiao 50 of 183 for a 27% connect percentage. Ugas 39 of 63 for a 62% connect percentage. But Pacquiao is nearly tripling his power punch output when it comes to how much he is throwing. Judges, it all depends on what a judge favors. Do you favor the aggression or do you feel the tactical counterpunching selective mindset of your Dennis Ugas? Pacquiao stepping forward, throws a combination, but back comes Ugas. What a sensational fight. Pacquiao steps in with a left. Couple lefts that didn't find their mark for Pacquiao as we are coming up on 90 seconds to go here in the seventh. There's a right to the body followed by a right upstairs. Ugas doing exactly what Ismael Salas told him. He goes, attack the body and then come upstairs. He did exactly that in that sequence. 70 seconds remaining here in round seven. Ugas. Advancing forward, but Pacquiao flicking out that jab. He darts in, throws a left, and then gets out of the way. Double jab followed by the right, but Pacquiao blocked most of those shots. Pacquiao is planting his feet more instead of bouncing around as much. He is sitting down in his shots more against the naturally bigger men. I think he realizes he has to do that because of the fact that him bouncing in and out and not getting full leverage behind his shots is not going to hurt this guy because of how big he is. There is a massive size difference between these two. And if you're Pacquiao, keep the fight in the center of the ring and use it to your advantage. If you're Ugas... I think Ugas is going to have to start to throw a little bit more because Pacquiao, with his volume and work rate, appears to be outworking him. And they end and fight at the bell for the WBA welterweight championship of the world. Manny Pacquiao will be 43 in December. Also said after this fight is over. And the jabs landed. Pacquiao, 30 of 238 for a 13% connect percentage. Ugas, 42 of 158 for a 27% connect percentage. Manny Pacquiao said that he will, after this fight, think about potentially running for president of the Philippines. I think he has to declare before the end of the fall. But right now, he has... A big task ahead of him in your Dennis Ugas. There's a big right hand, a glancing shot for Ugas, but he got a lot behind that one. This is a Manny Pacquiao who's trying to adjust as he is not used to, aside from, I mean, he's dealt with bigger men before, but that was when he was considerably younger. And he beat up Antonio Margarito. But that was a long time ago. 
You have 95 seconds left here in the eighth. There's a right hand for Ugas. Ugas is a little more aggressive here in the eighth compared to that of previous rounds. He is starting to come forward and now press the issue. And I think Pacquiao is content to counter at the moment. That's that combination go. Big right hand that snapped back the head of Pacquiao. Pacquiao's punches have not stung Ugas to a point. There's a right to the body by Ugas. Ugas has proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that he is an elite welterweight, and he's one of the best here at 147 with what we've seen thus far in the first eight rounds against Manny Pacquiao. And Ugas taking this fight on 11 days notice, replacing Errol Spence, who had an eye injury. We wish Errol all the best on a speedy recovery. There's a left hook connecting for Ugas. And Pacquiao looks to get that right back. When Pacquiao gets hit, he immediately goes into combat mode. He gets popped with a couple right hands, and Pacquiao pounds his gloves in frustration. They do translating as well. There's a big right hand to start the round, and I think that they started before the bell sounded. They touch gloves, sign a sportsman between the two. Well, I mentioned at the start of the fight, as you see the total punches landed thrown through the eighth round, Pacquiao 97 of 521 for a 19% connect percentage. Ugas 104 of 279 for a 37% connect percentage. So Ugas, even though he's thrown less, he has landed more punches. We mentioned at the start of the fight, are we going to see the old Manny Pacquiao or are we going to see an old Manny Pacquiao? I think it is somewhere in the middle. Is he what he once was? No, but he is still an elite welterweight in my estimation. And he's fighting your Dennis Ugas, a man who is fighting, in my opinion, and putting on the performance of his life. But I still think it could be a close fight. Especially depending on how the judges or what they favor from a scoring standpoint there's a right hand for Ugas but Ugas is starting to find his group without question there's a right hand for Ugas the defense of Ugas has been superb this evening and Pacquiao doesn't have as much spring in his legs as he is used to exhibiting over the course of his 25-year career, 26-year career. 70 seconds left here in the ninth. And I don't just attribute that to age. I attribute it to the fact that early in the fight, your Dennis Ugas attacked the body of Pacquiao, really made it a point of emphasis to hammer away upon the left side of the ribcage of Manny Pacquiao and unload those right hands. The jab has been finding its mark for your Dennis Ugas as he backs up Pacquiao with a counter right hand, but Pacquiao unloads at close distance now. Pacquiao, he knows he's in deep waters against a very determined champion from Cuba, your Dennis Ugas. There's a right to the body by Pacquiao, but Pacquiao has faced his fair share adversity in his career. Make no mistake about that. This is not foreign territory for the eight division world champion in Manny Pacquiao. On to the 10th. As we head on to round 10, this one's scheduled for 12. Power punches thrown through the ninth round. Pacquiao 70 of 262 for a 27% connect percentage. Ugas 67 of 114. Extremely accurate. A 59% connect percentage. 
There's a chopping right hand by Ugas. And Ismael Salas telling him, I want you to be more aggressive. I think Salas feels that he could be a close fight. Pacquiao steps in with the combination, but back comes Ugas. Now they exchange. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in Las Vegas, and Ugas immediately ties up. Pacquiao loves this kind of style. This frenetic pace is something that he has enjoyed and embraced, and it has endeared him to fight fans all over the world. And now that exchange brings the crowd, and you hear the energy from the fans here at T-Mobile Arena. It woke them up because it was a calculated, deliberate fight, and that burst of energy and exchange from Pacquiao turned back the clock as we saw vintage Pacquiao. 95 seconds left in the 10th. And as we head down the stretch of this championship affair at 42 years of age, how will the legs and the condition of Manny Pacquiao hold up? against an extremely focused and determined your Dennis Ugas who is seven years his junior there's a counter right hand by Ugas but Pacquiao stepped in and landed a glancing straight left 65 seconds left in the 10th what an excellent prize fight between two men who are extremely focused and have had their moments where they've been having some stained success. Uga shakes his head as to say, nope, I'm good. Pacquiao threw a straight left and Ugas with a big overhand right. Pacquiao got out of the way of it. Under 30 seconds left here in the 10th. Final 10 seconds of the 10th round. We'll see if Pacquiao tries to get off, but he eats a big right hand from Ugas, but he steps in again, and now Pacquiao, when Pacquiao gets popped, he immediately tries. We are witnessing with the welterweight championship of the world on the line between the champion from Cuba, your Dennis Ugas, and Manny Pacquiao, boxing's only eighth division world champion. For Pacquiao, you wonder how much steam he has left and can he end the fight in spectacular fashion by really unloading combinations and letting his hands go. And for Ugas, he has fought a brilliant fight tactically using his jab to start off his offense and then also countering Manny Pacquiao with the right hand as well as attacking the body early in the fight. For Pacquiao, he's been... The one who has been throwing, obviously, considerable more punches. He's been extremely, he's been aggressive in spurts. There's a left to the body by Pacquiao. As he landed a big shot to hurt or disrupt the flow of Ugas. Not much, but Pacquiao could very well be piling up points in the eyes of the judges based on his work rate and his activity level that is considerably more than that of your Dennis Ugas. Jab by Pacquiao. There's a jab all by a straight left for Pacquiao landed right on the chin of Ugas. Big right hand by Ugas, but back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao loves these toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges. The more tactical plotting sort of fight is something that, I don't know if it was lulling him to sleep or making him think a little bit more, but Pacquiao loves, he has a zest for combat. And when Ugas has been willing to oblige, that's when you see Manny Pacquiao go back and we witness the Pacquiao of the past five to 10 years that have been so emblematic over the course of his 25 year plus career. There's a straight left by Pacquiao. There's a right hand on the left ear of Pacquiao. 
Back here with some swelling underneath his right eye. Ugas has swelling underneath his left eye, largely in part to those straight lefts from Pacquiao. Final stages of the 11th. A riveting matchup, a big right hand for Ugas as we head down the stretch on to the 12th and final round. In between rounds, 12th and final round, could this be the final round in the career of Manny Pacquiao? And with the result hanging in the balance, total punches landed, thrown through the 11th. Pacquiao, 123 of 737 for a 17% connect percentage. Ugas, 140 of 380 for a 37% connect percentage. Pacquiao has nearly doubled the punch is thrown compared to that of Ugas. But Ugas has been the far more accurate of the two. There's a right hand by Ugas that caught the attention of Pacquiao. Pacquiao might have been off balance, but he smiles. And now Pacquiao looking to retaliate and respond. There's a right hand by Ugas. There are a, there is nervous energy here at T-Mobile Arena because this is a partisan Manny Pacquiao crowd. There's a big right hand by Ugas as he stepped in beautifully and got a lot of leverage behind it. 90 seconds left in the fight. There's a right hand by Ugas. And now they both tie up. Ugas wants to immediately wrap up with Pacquiao. Pacquiao's face bruised up, but he enjoys this. He just pounded his gloves, and you know that that is a statement that he's trying to exert and give his all in these final moments of his welterweight championship affair against your Dennis Ugas. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas is zeroing in on Pacquiao. Left hook that wobbled Pacquiao. But Pacquiao ate it. Ogus is trying to leave no doubt in the eyes of the judges here in this 12th and final round. And now the fans start to chant Manny. Blood outside of the left eye of Manny Pacquiao. And it's starting to trickle. There's a right to the body by Ugas, But Pacquiao responds with a counter left. Pacquiao is now seeking out and trying to find your Dennis Ugas. A cut underneath the right eye of Pacquiao. What a moment between Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. Both men fighting at such a high level. A right hand by Ugas. Ugas fought the fight of his life. Manny Pacquiao still Manny Pacquiao. What a fight.